You're with me, Sabir Ahmad, now to details. Seven accused have been sentenced to death for their involvement in 2016 holy artisan attack that left 22 people, including 17 foreigners, dead. Judge Mohammad Nazibur Rahman of the Anti-Terrorism Special Tribunal of Dhaka read out the judgment amid tight security in presence of the convicts. The convicts are Jahangir Alom, alias Rajib Gandhi, alleged recruiter of the cafe attackers, Aslam Hussain, alias Rash, one of the alleged planners, Abdus Sabur Khan, alias Sohel Mahfouj, reported granite supplier, Hadisur Rahman Shagor, Rokibul Hassan Rigan, so-called religious trainer, and Shuriful Islam Khaled and Mamunur Rashid Ripon. Another accused, Mizanur Rahman alias Boro Mizan, was acquitted from the case as allegations brought against them could not be proved. On July 1, 2016, armed militants stormed the Holy Artisan Bakery at the diplomatic zone in Dhaka's Gulshan area. The grisly terror attack left 22 people dead. Two police officers were also killed during the 12-hour standoff that followed. The court in its observation said the Holy Artisan attack was plotted to seek attention of the militant outfit Islamic State and create fearsome situation among people. They carried out attack to tarnish the image of the country before the world and they killed innocents to put pressure on Bangladesh and the government. The behaviors of the accused were arrogant while the court handed down the verdict. They also tried to hamper the procedure of court by chanting slogan Nairi Takbir Allahu Akbar. They also made derogatory comments. Law Minister, Attorney General and Inspector General of Police have expressed satisfaction over the Holy Artisan attack verdict. They said justice has been ensured through a speedy trial of the gruesome attack. Chief of Counterterrorism Unit said hatred has been created on militants among the people. None will dare to foot step on this way in future. We are satisfied thus far. Our church sheet was vital for convicting seven accused to death. We will try so that the prosecution would appeal, seeking punishment for the acquitted. On behalf of the government, I want to say that we are satisfied. I'll talk on this issue soon after the press conference would end. The verdict proves that our country is very sincere to curb militancy and also the compatibility to combat terrorism. Meanwhile, family of Holy Artisan Attacks Lane Assistant Police Commissioner Robiul Karim also expressed satisfaction. They demanded speedy execution of the verdict. I wish the top court would also uphold the similar verdict and it would be executed speedily. People's respect to law will be created if the verdict is executed. Our demand has been met up. I hope the prosecution will take necessary step regarding the acquitted accused as they are the plaintiff. No sign of remorse has ever seen in the appearance of any of the defendants before and after the declaration of the judgment of Holy Artisan case. Rather, they showed their rude manner at the court premises and in Ejlaj. Meanwhile, to look into the convicts wearing of ice cap. Seven militants out of eight have been sentenced to death in Holy Artisan case. When Limizan was acquitted from the case. After the announcement of the verdict at 12.30 p.m., the accused were taken from the courtroom to the prison van kept at the court premises. But soon after the verdict announcement, the convicts started shouting at the courtroom, crying out they are rejecting the verdict. To make the matter worse, Aslam Hussain Elias Rash was wearing a black hat that is usually worn by the IS members. He was chanting Allahu Akbar repeatedly. He wore ISS black cap in presence of the law enforcers at the elevator. They did not stop frowning doing this only. This time they took the vulgar languages. The convicted militants then started making various obscene speeches against the government and the law enforcers. Besides, the supreme punishment did not make any impact on the convicts. 
even after hearing the hanging order, no fear was noticed on their faces. On the contrary, laughing at the lawyers and the newsmen, they repeatedly uttered their victory is very soon. The convicted Rashid says they are not afraid to be hanged. He claimed that he is a Khilafat fighter. Many present at the court premises were shocked witnessing such a huge remarks of the death row convicts. In the midst of their shouting, prison van left the court premises. Meanwhile, Law Minister Anisul Haq said the investigation into how the IS's iconic black cap was worn on the head of the militant will be done soon. It is highly mandatory to investigate the matter. Soon after finishing the press conference, I will talk directly with the authorities concerned. However, the head of counter-terrorism unit, Monirul Islam, said the black cap is not the cap of IS. Earlier, before the verdict, the convicted showed various signs raising their hand several times. Ashiku Zaman, DVC News Desk. International media have highlighted the news of holy artisan attack as verdict significantly. In its report, BBC said the anti-terrorism tribunal convicted seven radical Islamists to death. Bangladesh government has been continuing anti-militant drive since the grisly attack at the Porsche Italy, the report fathered. Qatar-based media Al Jazeera said apart from sentencing seven death, one has also been acquitted. Bangladesh hands down that sentence to seven for 2016 CAF attack, reports Rogers. U.S. media CNN said seven to die for horrific militant attack in Bangladesh. Besides Times of India, Independent, The Guardian, ABC News, San Diego Union Tribune, Jinhua Doishabel, where covered, covered the verdict. Following attack on holy artisan, anti-terrorism drives have begun across the country. In the first year, 67 militants were killed from 24 operations. In these operations, children and some women were also killed. Besides, more than 500 militants were detained in separate tribes. The first anti-militant drive was conducted in capital Skolanpur on July 27, within a month of a militant attack on Holy Artisan on July 1st. Joint forces with CTTC took part in the Operation Storm 26. Then, on August 27 of that year, the CTTC conducted another anti-militant drive named Operation Headstrong 27 at Paikpara in Narayan Gons. Three militants, including Tamim Chaudhary, who was the mastermind of the holy artisan attack, were killed in Headstrong 27. Just after five days, the CTTC launched another raid named Operation Rupnagar in Rupnagar in the capital on September 2, 2016. Retired Major Tant Militant Jahidul Islam was killed in that operation. Again, after the interval of five days, four militants were killed in two drives at Horinal of Ghazipur and Kagmara of Tangai. On the same day, the CTTC launched a raid at Pathar Tek in Ghazipur. Seven militants were killed there. The CTTC operated Operation Azimpur at the militant hideout in Azimpur in the capital on September 10, 2016, two days after the previous one. Former banker turned militant Tanvir Kaderi was killed. On December 24, two more militants were killed in Operation Ripple 24 in cities Ashkona in the southern part of the capital. Later, on January 6, 27, Nurul Islam Marjan and his accomplice Saddam were killed in a CTTC raid on a check post in Muhammadpur's Beribad. On March 15, 2017, police conducted raid operation Shadhun Kutir at Namar Bazar in Shitakundo of Chattogram. Four militants were killed in that attack. The next day, police and SWAT operated Operation Assault 16 on the same area. Four militants, including women, were killed in that attack. Huh? On March 24, Army conducted an operation in Shibbari of Zilet with Operation Twilight. 
Four militants, including women, were killed in that attack. Within four days, the police and SWAT conducted Operation Hitback at Nasirpur in Molhovi Bazar on March 28, 2017. Seven militants, including Neo GMB leader Lokman Hussein, and six others were killed in that attack. On that day, Operation Maximus was conducted by CTTC and local police at Barhat in Molhovi Bazar. Three militants, including women, were killed in that attack. On April 26, 2017, four militants were killed in Operation Eagle Hunt of the CTTC in ship guns of Chapai Nawab guns. On May 7, 2017, Operation Shuttle Split was conducted by CTTC and local police at Moheshpur in Jinaida. Two militants were killed in that attack. On May 11, 2017, Operation Sun Devil was conducted by CTTC police headquarters, LEC and local police at Godagari in Ratshahi. Five militants were killed in that operation. Later, Neo GMB leader Sarwar Jahan killed in the rap raid in Ashulia on July 16, 2017. Rap launched a raid on Ruby Villa in Nakhalpara in the capital on January 12, 2018. Two militants were killed in that drive. On October 5, 2018, two militants were killed in a raid at Mirshorai of Chottogram. On October 16, 2018, two militants were killed in a police raid at Madhubdi and Shekherchor in Norshindi. On April 2019, RAP launched anti-militant drive at Bosila's metro housing in the capital. Two militants were killed in that attack. Also, since the terrorist attacks in Holy Artisan, law enforcers have carried out several anti-militant operations so far. Many militants were also detained in the incident. Weapons, bombs, different types of explosives were recovered from their position. Law enforcers said drives against anti-militant activities will be continued. Ashiku Zaman, DVC News Desk. That's all for now. For more news, visit dbcnews.tv. Thank you for being with us.